you guys welcome back to my channel my name is esther and i am a law and criminology student at cardiff university which is in wales if you didn't already know and the purpose of today's video is to give you some tips and tricks with what you should do what you should bring and what you should apply for if you are coming to study at a welsh university be sure to like comment and subscribe to my youtube channel as well if you do find these tips useful and feel free to follow me at esther wan on instagram if you would like to send me a dm about anything regarding university or my course and anything you need help with in between so without further ado let's get straight into it now the first thing is that in Wales they have a different bus system if you come from major cities like London, Manchester, Birmingham we all have very different bus and train systems and Wales uses the Great Western Railway and they use their local train lines and so it is important to get a bus pass because this gives you discounts as a student if you ever do take the bus it does take a long time and buses usually come every 10 to 15 minutes occasionally every five minutes and you can check this on the bus app and it's called the Cardiff bus app I'll link it somewhere on the screen and this will be very useful if you do decide to take public transport in Wales furthermore there is a scheme called Ovo bikes Ovo bikes I hopefully I'm saying it right after two years in Wales but these bikes are for free for 30 minutes and then you have to pay a fee after that if you are from london like myself it's like a santander bike it is free for the first 30 minutes then you do have to start paying and you can usually rent out these bikes on an app now the second thing is to download train line as there is you know trains running from let's say cardiff central to Cates, which is the campus for cardiff university students and i would recommend you guys get a rail card and i believe it's 30 pounds for a year or 70 pounds for three years and this may seem a lot as an upfront cost but it does truly save you so much money and the rail card works from in wales to england to scotland and i've traveled many times from london to cardiff for about 50 to 60 pounds with my rail card discount without that it would cost around 100 pounds to travel back and forth so it is definitely worth the investment in cardiff is a great place to travel because it's an ideal location quite close to the sea ocean whatever you want to call it and if you ever need time to de-stress or just to look at nature or just swim out in the open there are regular trains from Cardiff Central to Cardiff Bay, Penarth, um, Barry Island and these train tickets are around I would say five to ten pounds there and back so open return and I would definitely say to pay a visit there if you are ever in Cardiff and especially if you are a student in Cardiff because there will be days where you just need a break and the beach is just the best way to go about that. Moreover, there are national parks near Cardiff, although it is quite a trek from Cardiff. If you have a car and you drive a car, it would be best it would be best if you drove to places like Brecon Beacons. A lot of people do go there because it is beautiful, especially the waterfall and just going behind that. I would recommend going as a group because you get more fun out of that and you can enjoy your time. The third thing or fourth thing is that Cardiff has its own market and this is where you can go to the butchers you can get your local produce and anything in between and food and usually it's open on saturdays from 10 11 to about three or four or five and it's usually a great place to get your meat in bulk and just to find some great deals and if you are into the welsh culture there are definitely some worthy welsh cakes there 
and next thing is that as i am a christian i would really encourage you guys to try out a church whilst you're out there in wales cardiff swansea wherever it is and there are plenty of churches in cardiff that you can get plugged into and try out for sundays i know that for cardiff university they tend to do something called um a church search uh, during the first month of freshers and this is where they go to different services at church every single Sunday and from there you can get a taste and explore different churches with other students who may be interested in Christianity or are Christians themselves and with these churches they have good socials throughout the midweek and sometimes you can even meet up with them for local bible studies at someone's house online or whatever it is so if you are christian or you are interested in christianity i would definitely encourage you to stay plugged in and to connect yourself whilst you're out there and the semi last thing i want to touch upon is that if you are from a big city such as london manchester birmingham or wherever it is you are coming from it might be a bit of a shock to you because cardiff has a town but city vibe there's the city center and then outside of that there is city road where a lot of good restaurants are and because i'm a student and i don't have a car i've not been able to explore that much of cardiff but from what I've seen and from an improvement of my first impressions at Cardiff, if you've not seen that video, link is up there. Um, there is actually a bit to do, but it's not as much as you would do if you say you were in London. However, with university, there are always events sports societies or activities that you can partake in you just need to do your thorough research through the university website and join societies that you are interested in or just want to see what it's like and with this i would really encourage you to go out of your comfort zone and try everything and anything that you like at cardiff university and any societies that you think oh this would be interesting to take part in only because this is just the time to get out of your comfort zone and whilst you're at university why not do it sometimes it's just better to maybe join a dance class or you know try um, martial arts or boxing and debating whatever it is i would really encourage you to expand your extracurriculars and it can help you boost your cv when it comes to having a life outside of studying so those are my tips for students or people that are looking to study at a welsh university or are coming into cardiff university or wherever it is you're studying in wales i really hope you enjoy your time there though my first impression of cardiff was not great it's definitely improved and i would encourage you to you know get connected with people on your course or in similar societies that you go to in church if you're a christian or non-christian and just to stay plugged in and to really talk to people about it if you are struggling i did make a video of why i was thinking of dropping out of university at one point during first year and so that video is going to be linked up here but if you do need any more advice with Welsh universities or what to do in Cardiff, please email me. My email is going to be down below. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. As I said at the beginning of this video, be sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I will be releasing more videos on what it is like to study at university, any tips I have what it's like to be Christian at university and everything in between. So I hope you enjoy your day. Thank you for taking your time to watch this video and I'll see you in the next one.